Greetings, YouTube. Runa here. Today I'd like to show you something a bit different. I haven't done one of my more hands-on type of videos in a very long time, and I wanted to share with you this little technique that I have been using for the last couple of years. It has helped me save money, recycle supplies, and really stretch things out where people would normally just throw things away. Now, I use a lot of candles. As you can see, I'm burning a candle. That's more for pleasure and practical reasons. You'll see why. But um, what I'm going to show you today has to do with tea light candles. These little things here. Bring up the wick. These. Now, if you go to places like Walmart or the dollar store or whatever, you can find them for good prices. And... This is a hundred pack. I got it for maybe four bucks, something like that. They also have 50 packs for like two and a half, like two fifty or something. I don't remember, but like within five bucks, you get this many tea lights. It's amazing. But a complaint that a lot of people have with Walmart's tea lights is as follows. Have you ever had something like this happen to your candle or like this or like this or this? You'll see all that wax that's left in there. It seems really wasteful, doesn't it? It's very frustrating. And most people would be pissed off and throw that away and probably never buy these again. I am here to let you know that with a little bit of patience and a little bit of finagling and a little bit of care, you can actually make yourself some new candles. So, the beauty of this is that these come in a couple of different parts here. This is one I've not burned. And I need both hands, hold on. If you pull up on that, you can actually pull it right out. And you'll have something like this. These are nice, good metal bases, which can be used for a lot of things. You can use it for one, holding little things, powders. This is just some broken up cinnamon stick. You can also use them in place of buying 10 million of these little chime candle holders. And if we don't know what chime candles are, they're candles like this. These are homemade, made by me. I hand dip them. Interested? Let me know. I have all sorts of colors, but instead of having to buy a million of these, which these are cute, and you can get them white, you can get them in all sorts of different colors. I got this at Habitat. Um, it's a store near where I live. Incense, hippie stuff. You could mount the bottom and stick it to this. You have a safe, functional candle holder. Very seldom do I have these leak. It depends on how the candle burns down and if there's a ton of runoff and drips and stuff. But usually, you'll get something more clean, like this. There's remnants of a purple, well, like lavender-ish candle. You see the end of the wick, and then the rest of the wax is caught in here. Very easy, very clean, very convenient. However, you could also do something like this. So if you have these bits of wax, see how I pulled this up? I pulled these out of the bottom of candles that ended up like this. And see, you have the wick tab there. You can save this wax and reuse it. These two, these are blanks. No wick, but it's full of recycled wax. And as you can see, I've already melted this. What I basically did, I used some pliers and fashioned it like this. And I held it over top of a candle flame. Now don't hand, hand, don't hold it in a candle flame. Don't do that. Don't get it too terribly close, but get it close enough. Like this, it has a big flame on it. So I was able to hold it up here, and within maybe two minutes, that whole thing was melted. Now, you will want to let that sit for a couple of minutes. I would say until you can touch the outer side, it'd be warm. Now before so you don't want to put your wick in yet because it'll just slump over. Now what I have here, and this is a bigger example, some of my own homemade wicking. It's thin wick, 
them cotton braided and waxed. I usually use it for dipping my chime candles. But it's also a very good size for these, because if you look at this thickness and the thickness here, that they're very similar. Can camera's not focusing to it? Yeah, they're very similar. This one's a looks a little thicker because it's it's very very thickly waxed, but um, they're about the same size. The beauty of this is not only can you reuse the base and the wax, but you can reuse the wick tabs. Now see, I have another wick tab right here. Now, the good thing about this is if my camera will focus, you can see the little opening there. And you got a little piece of wick in there still, which you could dig that out. See, it's very open. Now, if you took your pliers and opened that up just a teeny bit more, you could get a wick in there and then re-cinch it shut. Now, it's going to pinch this part, too, so then you can just take your pliers and flatten it out a little bit more. And then, bada-bing, you have a new wick. Completely homemade, recycled, just replace the wick. Now... Once it's kind of cooled a little bit, you can just stick that right down in there. Just get it kind of centered, because it has a spot right in the middle where you can line it up where it's supposed to go. Now see how that's not slumping over? That's perfect. That's what you want. Now you want to let that cool completely, and you will have a new candle. Perfectly able to be used. Homemade. Recycled. More bang for your buck, essentially. Now the next thing I've done here, you remember that one tea light that was fresh, the one that was um, looking like this at first, and then I pulled it up a little bit? What I did was I actually pulled it all the way out. This is your base. This is the entire blank of wax. You can see there's a hole in there where the wick once was. Now these ones are a little more adhered. They're not like these tea lights that I, I got from a friend. As you can see, they're very loose. So what you could do is just, you just pop that out. See, I pop that out really easy, and you can also pop the wick out very easily. You can't really do that with these, but you can take them out. Excuse my arm. And um, use the wax for something else. Say if you wanted to grab a bunch of these and make a different candle, make a jarred candle or something, uh, fill up something and put a wick in it and call it a candle. You can. You can also dye these. These dye pretty well. Uh, I don't have any hand dyed candles for these on hand at the moment. So you could take, if you wanted to go with the, the cheaper root crayons, you could use dye chips or candle dye, whatever you like, either way. And you would just melt it down and add it to your dye and then make sure it is nice and mixed through. And re add your wick. So instead of just having plain white candles, you can have colored candles for these. You can stretch these out very far, I assure you. Another thing I've been known to do is when I get these little pieces here, see they're very fragile and they can break off very easily. See, it's exposing more of the wick tab. What you could do is take this and pop it into one of those holders with the pliers, you can melt it down. So just, you know, hold it over top of your candle. Remember, don't go in. You don't want to hit flash point or get it too terribly hot. And that's melting very, very fast, see? That's not even 10 seconds. It's just a bit. If you break it up more, the more you will have a quicker time melting. <laughs> So that is nice and melted. Now for candles that are like this one here, you may be able to top it off just a bit. I'm going to take that back. You can be able to top that off just a little bit. See, I've filled in where it's tunneled there. Now something like this you can try. You might drown the wick like I just did. You might be able to save that, you might not. You can try to top that off. 
but you're better off just recycling the wax. And the thing you might have happen with topping off candles is you might drown the wick and you might actually have it break on you a little bit. So that might work, that might not work. So it is a gamble, but you can always recycle your candles otherwise. So that's not really that big of a deal. So I don't want you to panic and I don't want you to want to throw things across the room or anything crazy like that. If you buy these tea lights and you find that you have something crazy like this happen and you can't burn it anymore. Very frustrating, but you can save it and you can work it to your advantage and you can use each part, each component as something different, something new. Very, like I said, very useful for holding candles like that. You can use them for tapers too if you wanted to. Just beware, they might not hold all the wax that drips. You can make new ones like I have here. You can try to save them by topping them 